Tell me about Big Lou. I mean, this is Big the Lou is one of the top 10 pieces in the museum, probably. Really? It is factory sealed. Whoa. The only one known to exist. This is? Mint seal. Never been opened. And the person I bought it from was the person who designed Big Lou. Wow. What do you estimate the value of that? I've bought Big Lou's before missing pieces. I mean, they're like two, three hundred bucks well, I got usually, two right? Two or three hundred dollar Big Lou's I'll sell you. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or that's I what got I usually get. An eighteen thousand dollar Big Lou. Eighteen thousand dollar Big Lou. Man, you could have this or a panhead, Frank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we take Big Lou out of the cabinet? Nobody touches Big Lou. Uh oh. All right. Can I touch Frankenstein? Yeah, you can touch Frankenstein. Right, I'm gonna touch you Frankenstein. can bring him out of the case if you want. Ooh, I'm bringing him out. That's cool. I love early Frankenstein stuff. You know who had him, don't you? Silver Fox, Dave Warren. Did? He had one in his case next to his chair in the living room. One of the toys that Dave had was this Frankenstein toy. That's the first time I've ever seen one of these, so I have a connection to it. Not from playing with it when I was a kid, but from seeing it for the first time at Dave's house and kind of falling in love with it. You know, the face looks really nice. Yeah. Kind of ugly, but... What are you thinking on this? 275. He's so cool. And all it's missing is the bottom of this. But you got, no, you got the good part. Yeah, see? but I'd have to get the bottom. No, well, you don't. You just put the batteries in there and just yeah. go like that. All right, I'm taking it. It's so tape. cool. It doesn't matter why you connect with something. What matters is that you do connect with it. What about the Coke machine here? Is this something you're going to hold on to? Uh, no, I'd probably sell it. Does it work? You know, I'm not sure. I can see it's got the, uh, the wheel in there. I think it's complete. I got the key for it. Oh, so you've touched it up or did no, you no, buy it like didn't that? No, I anything to it. So this decal was on there, everything was on there. Yeah, that's exactly how I bought it. I finally find something in the museum that's not related to toys at all. It's an upright, it's a cool piece. So was it local here where you got it? Yeah, I actually bought it right down here in Mounds about to sell. It's mid 50s. It's a common machine. The big one that everybody wants is the model 81 that's got the long door on the side. This model is not as desirable as the 81 or the 44, but it's original paint. There's a lot of touch up on it, but overall, it's in pretty good condition. In this condition, I'd pay a couple grand for it. 2000? Yeah, that's where I'd need to be on it. Frank, is it okay if I buy this? Yeah. That's okay. not in my that's not in my wheelhouse today. Okay. Put it there, bud. Appreciate you. So for 2,000 bucks, there's a little bit of room on the back end. I'm happy with this purchase. Well, the soda fountain out front and this Coke machine is something I remember because I grew up in the 1950s. Okay. So it brings back a lot of memories. Sure. Well, you've got, I mean, after 16 years, you've got to have seen people walk in here and just Freak. grab their chest a little bit and go, I had that toy when I was a kid. When people can have an emotional reaction to some of the toys in here, that's when I know I did something right. You really did. And for the community, too. I mean, everybody that came here, and a lot of people bought gas, probably stayed at the hotels, ate at the yeah. restaurants, you know? You're very civic-minded. I, I love that. What was really amazing <laughs> Get a little no, it's all right. Yeah. Hey, I understand. Was in uh, June. June was our last month. We had people come in from all over the country. We had a man and woman from California drive in here, and she starts bawling. She said, I had all that when I was a little girl. Aww. Yeah. yeah. That's what makes it all worthwhile for me, seeing them come in and enjoy all this. It's almost like the Field of Dreams movie. If you if you build it, they will come. And uh, a lot of people did come. But I've seen that. guys come in and cry, too. Really? I'm that guy. Oh, yeah? I'm the guy that was so excited when we got the call from Danielle. I'm that guy. Marks is number one, buddy. Darn right. <laughs> in my book, it is. Well, the fun part of collecting Marks toys is to hunt. I've had 30 years of fun. Now I'm going to have five years of fun selling some of them. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.